Well, hello everyone, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we're going to get to play with some pattern blocks. Well, not really play, so much as use them to determine some missing angle measurements. We are in our math journal, page 278, for unit 8, lesson 3. Uh, let's read the premise of this set of problems, shall we? It says that Lynn is playing with her grandchildren's pattern blocks, and she notices that some of the blocks' angles fit exactly in the angles of other blocks. She sees that two of the white rhombuses' small angles fit into one of the red trapezoid's small angles. That means that the measure of the trapezoid's small angle is two times the measure of a white rhombus' small angle. So as you can see, as I lay these out, these rhombuses, rhombi, what's the plural? Uh, when I pair them together by their vertices, I can fit them into the space of the angle right here, of the acute angles of this uh, trapezoid, okay? So now that I've got some manipulatives to work with, let's read the first problem. It says, how many of the white rhombuses' small angles are needed to fill in the red trapezoid's large angle? Now, we are using terms like small angle and large angle, but let's actually get a little bit more mathematical. These small angles are what we would call acute, right? Because they look like they're less than 90 degrees, like they would be on a square, okay? These angles, by contrast, are, say it with me, obtuse. So I need to know how many of these really acute rhombus angles can fit in this space. Okay, now I'm going to use a piece of paper to help me because balancing a bunch of shapes on top of each other might be a little difficult. So I thought I'd trace a pattern so we can see. Okay, so I've just got a piece of copy paper here and I'm taking my pencil and I'm going to trace this trapezoid on my paper like so and now I'm going to take a rhombus and see how many of these rhombuses rhombi I could fit in that space and based upon the way I have laid this out I could fit in a total of four rhombuses in that space. Okay, let me trace it out. So if I line up one rhombus along the side of my trapezoid here, and I line it up again like so, and then just keep repeating that pattern, you can see that four rhombuses fit in that space. Okay, so that means the angle of the obtuse vertex of this trapezoid is four times as big, okay? So that means four white rhombuses would fill in the space of the red trapezoid's obtuse angles. And that's all we're doing here. We're just using blocks that help us kind of feel out the size and the uh, the measurement of these angles, okay? Now, that's all fine and good if we've got pattern blocks to play with, but what if we don't have pattern blocks? What if we're trying to find the actual measurement in degrees? Well, that's where I would take in my math template right here, and I would use the protractor aspect of that template to make some measurements, okay? And again, I'm going to use my pencil to trace one of these rhombuses, okay? And within that rhombus, I've got two very narrow acute angles. So to measure that angle, I'm going to line up my paper with the midpoint of my protractor down here and line up one of the sides that connects to my acute vertex right there with the zero degree mark or the baseline of my protractor, like so. So as you can see, 
the lines of those acute sides that make up the acute angle make up about 30 degrees. So if this is 30 degrees, right, if I look at all four of these angles that fit within the trapezoid here, if this is 30, then this would be 30, and this would be 30, and this would be 30. In other words, I'm looking at an angle that is four times the measurement of a 30 degree angle, or four times 30 degrees. And what's four times 30, everyone? Well, that would be four times three tens, otherwise known as 12 tens, also known as 100 and 20 degrees. So when they say that one obtuse angle in this trapezoid is four times the measure of the acute angle of this rhombus, we're saying that this angle is 120 degrees. Okay? So when we are solving problems like this one in our math journal, where we're given different shapes to help us uh, devise the measurements based on other pattern blocks, like for problem number two and three, they ask us to use the green triangle to make some observations. What we're really getting at is how can we find the measure of one angle when we know the measure of another, okay? So try these problems out. If you have questions, talk to your math teacher. They will happily help you. If you are watching this video, you are probably working at this from home. Uh, hopefully you've got some pattern blocks to work with. If you don't, that math template that I was just using also has some of the very shapes that we were using uh, in our example here. So you could use a math template to uh, help solve those problems as well. Okay. Until we talk again, friends, you have a good day. Thanks.